Uh, hi everyone. I uh, continue to uh, to talk about my physics or nature's physics. I uh, represent nature. And uh, today we will t- talk about the uh, uh, the gravitational constant. It is a mystery of some sort to to, to many uh, physicists. Uh, you know, the physics has many constants. But generally speaking, all these constants are some kind of average. Either is average of a different environment or is average of a, of a different uh, uh, uncontrollable uh, variable. And especially when you try to use some, some rather idealistic uh, uh, mathematical uh, concept to, to represent uh, a, 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 a genuine a physical uh, uh, object, say like a sun or earth. Anyway, the I can't emphasize more that uh, uh, gravity is a collective phenomena, and a gravity is a is a, a collective uh, effort of uh, of uh, all the atoms involved and because all these atoms it, they're collected effort therefore the relative position of these atoms uh, play a, a role namely the composition of the uh, let's say earth and the dip- dist- distribution of a, of a different elements, and the distribution of a, of a different uh, 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 molecules, and then of course the the shape. We may treat the Earth as a as a mathematical ball, or or uh, somewhat uh, ellipse elliptic ball, or uh, or even simple enough a uh, a point and then we, we often treat sun as a point because it, it is kind of far and um, and also it's you know sun is a, is a, it's a it's a gas ball a gas fireball and it is somewhat liquidity <laughs> so so you may consider it a perfect ball or uh, so that all these uncontrollable variables or it's actually arbitrary. In order to have a gravity formula, because everything it becomes a uh, a point, and then you must allow different shape, different composition, and and a different uh, a distribution of a of a composition of a, of a, the masses, and all of these things had to be summarized by one constant, and that is the a gravitational constant. Use that gravitational constant kind of like a, a eraser, and erased all the uh, individuality of, uh, of, uh, of uh, any planets, any sun, and, and any uh, other satellites like a moon. And all they are just a point and a mass. So a point and a mass represent all of them. As you can imagine, the rest of, uh, of uh, the, the variables gonna be all summarized into gravitational constant. And of course it cannot be accurate. But however, we don't need it to be accurate. Technically, it's accurate enough. <laughs> so that's what matters. And after all, yeah, I mean, even Earth isn't exactly the, the, the elliptic. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, even, even if it is elliptic and the center is a, is a fuzzy concept, we don't really know what the, where the center is. Chances are, I don't know how the you know the uh, the, the different countries uh, 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 
space program works, whether they, the, in their model, to, to, to operate their satellites, they have to have a gravitational model. In their model, whether the, whether the Earth is a point or not, I highly doubt it. That their model, because because the satellite is relatively close, you know, a few hundred miles. The the different composition of Earth matters. So their Earth is much more, or their gravitational model of the Earth is much more complicated than a point. Okay. So. To uh to um. In the future, maybe with uh, you know fast enough computer, we may be able to actually uh, 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 model, tra keep track every single item that made up our Earth, and so that then we don't have to worry about <laughs> gravitational constant, uh, or or maybe we still have to when we add them up, we still have to average something because the, once you get more detail they're going to be even further details it, you, you can't control and then you have to average them and w whenever you are not exactly describing what it is you are approximate approximately describing it and then there are going to be some kind of average and uh, whenever whenever there's average and there are going to be some kind of uh, con constants. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So, the uh, fundamentally speaking, given a mathematical point, a geometrical point, how many things can that point support? Say, say for example, a point mass can support a mass. I guess you. You you can you may consider a gravitational constant is also supported by that point. A point can su support multiple uh, uh, numbers, but that's pretty pr pretty much enough. A, a point cannot support something you know uh, variable. So here comes the uh, the, the Einstein's uh, uh, general relativity. General relativity. Because they had to calculate the curvature, therefore it's not a point anymore. Or a, if it was a point, the metric where the uh, the the curvature come from, not supported by the point, is supported by by the uh, space time. Is you need a large uh, uh, a, a smooth a manifold to support a uh, a metric, and a metric, you know, there are many many functions, at least uh, you know, three by three nine, and and of course, given all kinds of asymmetries, at least you're gonna end up a one function, and uh, the rest, symmetry is also a uh, a way of uh, of averaging things, average. Uh, different directions so that you only end up with uh, with one direction and of course a manifold or a a surface support a mat metric and a support a curvature is a is a a, uh, a, a, a progress from one point support a number which was uh, Einstein's uh, 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 gravity, and you may consider that as a continuous uh, uh, theory. And then Einstein's uh, general relativity is the uh, uh, smooth theory. Okay, let's uh, summarize the uh, the gravity. The gravity start off between atoms, although the total sum of any atoms electrical charge are zero namely 
the number of uh, electrons equal to number of uh, protons. However, their electric fields do not cancel each other. So in a sense, a atom kind of like a have sticking out two hands, one positive hand, one negative hand, and sticking out and try to grab uh, other atoms. And if somehow my hand and, and, and the other hand, atom, my positive hand, let's say, get hold of uh, other atoms negative hand, and that's chemical bond. However, the, this hand holding still does not cancel out the, uh, the uh, both hands entirely. These fingers still trying to grab onto something else. Even if after this, these fingers all hooked up, it still do not cancel out. It still got something left over. And uh, you may consider that hairs, you know, the hair also spread out into the universe forever and ever and fill up the entire universe. Every single atom is capable of doing that. Actually, it's done that already. It's trying to grab onto something. And that's the, that's the, 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 uh, the nature of the gravity. And, uh, and of course, when, when something is considered one thing, and that is also a fuzzy, fuzzy concept. For example, on Earth, you know, we're walking on Earth, whether we're part of the Earth, right? I mean, two rocks, one rock can roll in around, and it's still considered a part of the Earth. Nevertheless, when two objects is separated by some things, let's say, uh, close to vacuum, and we are going to consider them two objects, and and, and so also uh, also had, had to be far enough, and and also separated by air. I guess that's close enough. That's okay. We have uh, you know gravitational. Uh, gee, what's that number? I forgot. I often use G. I guess it's also grav. It's also a form of a gravity constant, and a different part of the Earth is different high plateau and the low valley and, and they're 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 slightly uh, different so as you can imagine it's a it's an average of a, of the environment and uh, and i think that's enough uh about gravity uh next time i will discuss the uh, the anti-gravity uh after Anti-gravity, I'll talk about ether. Uh, I just use that term. Uh, the Aristotle has the, the concept, but uh, this ether isn't uh, exactly the same, but more or less the, the same idea. Uh, after that, uh, we'll, we'll talk about light. Already. See you tomorrow.